Hi everyone, it's Jay from Fishwash Baby, and I have a lot of strollers behind me because today we are going to be talking about the top convertible strollers currently on the market. Convertible strollers are single strollers that can convert into double, hence the name convertible strollers. Now all of these amazing strollers behind me have some key features in common that make them all stand out from all the rest. Features that include an adjustable handlebar so it, they can all accommodate shorter to taller parents and they are all reclinable and reversible so they can be reclined to your child's preference and they can be either world facing or parent facing. There's definitely a lot to cover so I'm not going to try to do a long introduction and I'm going to get straight into the video. We are starting from lowest to highest price points so without further ado let's get on to the rest of this video. Alright, so the first stroller on our list is the Baby Jogger City Select, which retails for $719 plus. It weighs 28 pounds and has a weight capacity of 45 pounds. Like I mentioned, all of them have an adjustable handlebar. Now, as far as the canopy goes on this particular stroller, I will say it probably has the smallest canopy of all the strollers we're going to talk about today, so that's something to keep in mind. But it does get the job done. This is, it is as far down as it goes and it does have a little magnetic peekaboo window. Now, as far as seats go, I mentioned before, it has a nice little recline, so you can just recline it to whatever position your child is most comfortable in, and it is reversible. I just have to press these two function buttons on its side, and then I would just lift up. Super easy. It has an adjustable footrest. It's a two-handed adjustable footrest. I just press on the side, and again, I can just adjust it to whatever position my child is most comfortable in. Now we are going to turn our attention to the bottom of the stroller, namely the storage. Now as far as storage goes, the Baby Jogger City Select has pretty nice storage. There's a little storage pocket right in the back of the stroller. And then the actual storage basket can be zipped up. So if you have anything that you want to protect, you can just zip it up. But let's say you have something pretty big in there, you can zip it down and it actually extends the storage. So again, really, really convenient. Now, before I show you some configurations on how I can make this into a double, I do want to show you how I would fold it. Now, folding it is pretty easy. It has a handbrake, so I'm just going to break it. And then it's actually labeled on either side. It says fold, fold. And I'm going to press my hand and pull. And it just folds onto itself. And it folds down really flat. The Baby Jogger City Select probably has the flattest fold of all the strollers we're going to talk about today. I'm going to open it back up. I just lift it up and then I'm going to unpick it and it's good to go. Now I do want to mention how it doubles so I am going to put a little picture right here and you can see how the Baby Jogger City Select has many many different configurations. It's an incline double which means that it goes up and down and again, pretty decent for a double. You definitely can have, you can really customize it and make it your own. So on to the next one. All right, so our next stroller on this list is the Nuna Demi Grill, which retails for $799.95. It weighs 26.5 pounds, has a weight capacity of 50. Like all the others, it has an adjustable handlebar, goes out pretty far. The canopy is large and very, very spacious. There's a little peekaboo window, it's magnetic. But my favorite part about the canopy is that it has the Nuna famous dream drape that I could just extend down. Let me give you a good shot of that. Definitely really does a great job of protecting your child from all those harmful sun rays. And then when I just don't need to use it anymore, I can just zip it back up. So it's out of the way. The seats are pretty self-explanatory, although I will say they're, they're very heavily padded, so they're very comfortable. But it does have a nice little recline, and it is also reversible, pretty easy to reverse. I would just press the function buttons, but we're going to keep it world-facing. Let's just get started talking about the wheels. So as far as the wheels go, it has all wheel suspension with foam-filled tires, so again, pretty strong structured wheels and very, 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 very nice ride. So to fold it, it's pretty easy as well. So I'm just going to break, it's a foot break, and I'm going to press on the handlebar, pull on it, and then it's just going to fold onto itself. And then if I want to set it down, I can, very nice, self-standing fold. And then to open it back up, I just press 
and I unlock it and then it opens really, really nicely. And now I do want to show you how it doubles, so I'm just going to put a picture right here. These are all the different configurations that you can choose from. So there's definitely a lot of options. I do want to say that in this particular convertible stroller, you do lose the storage a little bit because the second seat actually goes into the storage a little bit, um, as you can see from this photo. So again, that's something to keep in mind, but overall it does have a lot of great qualities. So now we're going to get on to the Vista V2. All right, so the Upper V2 starts at 929 dollars It does go up depending on different customizations and different color options. Now, like the rest, it has an adjustable handlebar. I have the canopy already zipped out. Just I wanted to show you. It has this little ventilated window. And then in the middle panel, it has this nice little peekaboo window as well. The seats are pretty straightforward, although it does have a non refret harness, which is such a lifesaver. Anybody knows refretting harnesses are really annoying. So to change the harness straps, uh, all you have to do is slide up and down, which is so convenient. It has a nice little belly bar, an adjustable footrest, two-handed, super simple. And like all the other strollers that we talked about and we're talking about today, has a nice recline. And it is also reversible, so it can be parent-facing or world-facing. Now, I do want to turn your attention to the bottom of the stroller because I want to talk about the underseat storage basket. This has a huge underseat storage basket, and it is utilized perfectly. You definitely still have access to it when it doubles, and overall, you can fit a lot, a lot in there. As far as the ride and the push goes, it has all wheel suspension and really nice foam filled tires that are super soft and really, really great. And they do an amazing job at just having a smooth ride. And now I do want to show you how it folded. I'm just going to break the stroller so it doesn't go away from me. And there's two function bends on the side of the handlebar that I'm going to just push and pull. It has a self standing fold. So again, really nice. Let me show you how it is when it's flat. It's pretty flat. It definitely can fit in any trunk very easily. And then to open it up, I'm just going to unlock the stroller and then I'm just going to pull up and then I'm going to unbreak it. And now I do want to show you a couple configuration options. So these are all the configurations that you can choose from. There's definitely a lot of options when it comes to the Alpha BD Vista V2. And honestly, all of these strollers have so many different configurations. And overall, this is probably one of the easier ones to double. So now we are going to start talking about the next stroller on our list. All right, so up next we have the Silver Cross Wave, which retails for $12.99 plus. So by now we know that the handlebar is adjustable. Definitely, definitely extends really, really far, the Silver Cross Wave. Now the canopy is very large, very spacious, has a plastic peekaboo window, it's magnetic. And then on this last panel, you can actually snap open there is a huge ventilated window, so you get the best of both worlds. And it does really great during those hot summer months. Now, as far as the actual extending of the canopy, I just want to show you really quickly how far it extends. So it definitely extends pretty far. Um, as far as the seats go, the seats are pretty standard. Five-point harness, nice little belly bar. We know it is reclinable by now, and it is also reversible. These are the function buttons I use to reverse it, but again, we're keeping it parent-facing. And overall, pretty simple. It does have a nice little footrest as well. All of these seem to have an adjustable footrest. Now, to turn your attention to the bottom of the stroller, as far as storage goes, this probably has one of the smaller storage baskets, but it's still pretty large. You can fit a large diaper bag um, or a medium diaper bag and then some few extras as well. Uh, as far as wheels go, the wheels are pretty uh, pretty simple, foam filled wheels, uh, all wheel suspension. So you know that it is a very, very, very smooth ride. Folding it is very simple as well. I just break the stroller. It's color coded. so. It's red for obviously brake and green for gum. And then there are function buns on the side of the handlebar, similarly to the upper baby Vista V2, that I just press and pull. And it kind of just folds onto itself. Really small. Um, as far as the actual fold goes, I will say this one has a bit of a 
bigger fold, but it's still pretty flat. And then to open it back up, I just unlock the stroller. So I'm just going to make sure it's unlocked. And the same function with motions. I just lift it back up. Now I want to show you how I would make this into a double. So right over here, we have a couple configurations. So a lot of these configurations are very, very customizable. You can definitely choose how you want to set up your stroller. And that's why I really do love a lot of these convertible car uh, strollers that we're talking about today. You can really choose how you want your stroller to look, then the comfort level of your child, you can really customize that. So we're done with the uh, Silver Cross Wave, and we are going to the last stroller now. The Lulu Donkey 3 also retails for $12.99 plus. It weighs 27.6 pounds and has a weight capacity of 50 pounds per seat. This is a really, really nice stroller. Bubble Blue does a really great job. I love all of their products. Like all the rest of these strollers, it has an extendable handlebar that goes out pretty far. Right now, it is in mono mode. It is. It can either be in mono mode or duo mode. It's a convertible stroller. Um, as far as the canopy goes, it's large, it's spacious. I have it extended all the way out right now, but you can zip it back. And it has a large ventilated window in the middle panel. So we definitely get a lot of airflow. As far as the seats go, it has a non refrigerated harness, so all you can do is pull. Very convenient, because as your child grows, you don't want to be re-threading the harnesses. It's a five-point harness, nice little belly bar. has a really nice recline, like all of the other strollers, and it is also reversible. So again, really easy to reverse, but we're keeping it world-facing. As far as storage goes, it definitely has a lot, a lot of storage in mono mode because it has a luggage basket right here, a luggage carrier, and then the underseat storage basket is pretty large as well. For mono mode, you can definitely accommodate one child, but when I extend it to duo mode, definitely, definitely can accommodate two children, two diaper bags. Bugaboo did such a great job in making sure through mono mode or duo mode, it's very, very convenient. Now, as far as wheels go, it has really nice 10 inch by 12 inch wheels, all wheel suspension, very soft, very nice, smooth ride. Now, I do want to show you this one in particular, just how I would just turn it into a double, just because it's so easy. I'll just turn it, I'll take the luggage basket, unclip these little function tabs, and press this button in between. And then I would lock everything into place. And then I can just put the bassinet right in. These are all the different configurations that you can choose from. So there's still a lot of different options that you can use to accommodate this. And then as far as fold, I'm going to break the stroller. It's a nice little foot break. And then I'm going to make sure everything is as small as possible. And then just going to pull the levers. And it just folds onto itself. I folded it with the, the toddler seat. But for a smaller fold, you can obviously fold it without the toddler seat. And then to open it back up, it's the same function buttons that I use. And it just goes right back to normal and that is the Bugaboo Donkey 3. All right thank you guys so 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 much for watching I know I threw a lot at you so if you have any questions or comments you know the drill by now leave all the comments in the comment section down below I'll answer them as soon as possible and like always please like and subscribe for new videos and have an amazing day.